It's Michelle for Monkey's Creations. I am back. Did y'all meet me? Did you, did you? Let me just see if I can get comments. Talk. I'm trying to see if once again I can find you live. And I can't, so there you go. <laughs> I don't know. So how have y'all been? I have missed y'all. Good morning, good morning. I am back. It was a crazy two whole days of nothing but shopping, y'all. Shopping for next year, Christmas, fall, Halloween. There's so many new things coming out. Y'all are going to be so excited. Unfortunately, y'all won't see it till next year. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But y'all will enjoy it, I promise. We did some amazing kits. So, y'all stay tuned. It'll be available next year. Anyway, I've got two more kits available on my website. Um, the first one is this gorgeous Cardinal Birdhouse Vinyl. It comes with the vinyl, of course, your unique in the creek um, board. This, I think they call this moss green. Um, now, it is a value mesh, but y'all are not going to see it because we're going to do it the same way as the Santa Claus and wrap this gorgeous green velvet ribbon around it. So it'll look like a, just a green velvet gorgeous frame um, and your zip ties, okay? Um, so these are available, monkeyscreations.com. Um, today we are doing the Baked with Love. So we have that. It comes with your gingerbread pick. These gorgeous ribbons, that gingham, look how gorgeous that gingham is. And it's glitter, y'all. Um, the border stripe, white mesh. And it comes with your set of rectangle boards. So you can split this up um, or you can just make one um, swag, however you want to do it. Um, if you do want to break it up and make two, like put this on one and this on the other. Um, please make sure that you cut your ribbons way down to maybe 10 to 12 inches. Um, that way you know you'll have enough. Okay. Um, hey, hey. I am back. And excited to get back to work. Gotta work, y'all. Gotta work. Right? I'm over you. I'm over you. But let's get started. So here is the rectangle board. As you can see, we are doing the top two. 
that next set, go one diagonally, skip one, next set on both sides, skip one, next set, and then the bottom two. And then we're going to fill in that middle, okay? You're all right. You're all right, Liz. I don't mind. Trust me. But it is Friday, so everybody get up, get off the couch, get out of the bed, get off the chair, put your coffee down, put your water down, because it's Friday, y'all. You ready? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Woohoo! All right, let's get to work. Y'all ready? Let me bring everybody down. Sorry, Facebook. I'm on my Logitech because I just didn't even want to mess with the Mebo. Didn't want to mess with it. All right, so on the back of the Baked with Love cutting board, I've already put two cable mounts. That way we can attach it right to the board. Um, but we have to get our base done. So let me get the extra board out of the way. Um, this white border stripe, I have cut it at 25 inches. You're going to need 10 pieces. Now, before I get too far into it, I will say when y'all get these kits, please make sure you watch my whole entire video first um, because sometimes I make changes because I'm winging it, y'all. I'm making it live with y'all for the first time. So I may make changes along the way. Um, so if you cut all your ribbon at 14 inches, later on I may say, hey, why don't you do it at 12 inches and it'll save you some ribbon or something like that. Um, especially for the all ribbon um, kits. Um, I had somebody, and I apologize right now, I cannot find the email to respond back, but at the beginning of the Santa All Ribbon video, I said to cut it at 12 inches, but then later on, I changed it and meant to say 10 inches. So sometimes I do catch those mistakes, but please, please, please make sure you watch the whole video. If, you, if that was you and you were short two pieces, please message me and I will send you my leftover roll. Um, but I cannot find your email to save my life. I apologize. Okay, so watch the videos in the entirety. And then when you get your kit, um, then break it down. Okay, so I cut these at 25 inches inside of a mesh roller. We're going to grab a clip. No, I'm not doing that. See, I'm already. We're going to do a 25 inch ruffle. That's what we're doing. Okay. And I cut my tails at 14 inches. So I'm going to grab one of each of those. Which one do I want on the bottom? I think I want this one on the bottom. So I'm putting one right over the other, folding it to find our middle, scrunch it, flip it, get your ribbons going the right way. I kind of bring them together to make sure they're kind of lined up. And now they're ready to put on the board at the same time I put my mesh. Okay. So 25 inch ruffle. Now you, if you are doing two swags, if you're breaking it up to do two, only do like a 12 to 15 inch ruffle. So you have enough for the other board. Okay. So ruffle right up the center. Okay, just like that. If one side looks like it needs to be tugged, just tug it. Okay, so that's what we have. And then we're going to flip it up. 
and bring that ruffle all to one side. Just like that. So you have this big nub right here that's going to go in the zip tie. Okay, so we're going to put it right in. Now, if you have hand problems and you can't hold all of this, um, go ahead and zip tie this in and then put another zip tie on top to add your ribbon tails. Okay, so we're going to put that right on top and we're going to zip it all together. On the next one, I'll show you what I mean by that. And zip it all in. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. So let me show you what I mean by just doing one at a time. Okay, so we're going to take our next piece and we're going to do that same thing. We're going to flip one over the other. Bring your ruffle all to one side. Grab it. And then we're just going to slide it into that zip tie and zip it in. Okay just like that and we're gonna have to do this one over because it didn't all catch and I I knew that so we're gonna do that one over okay so and then what you would do is you would take another zip tie go right back over it that same zip tie. Good morning, good morning. Close that up a little bit. Grab your ribbon tails. Put it right on top. And zip that in separately. So however you want to do it, your bag for these kits comes with 100 zip ties. So you will have plenty no matter how you choose to do it. Okay? Hi, hi. So let's do this one over. Get our ribbon tails ready. Did y'all have an awesome week so far? I missed you. It's been gone, been gone all week. I know I love that white mesh as well. All right, let's do this one over. Ooh, I need to turn this heat off. Having a hot flash. All right, let's do this one over. Okay, bring it around. Get all your ruffles. Can you do this on the small round board? You could, but the rectangle board comes with this kit. try this again hold on to it tight y'all if you don't hold on to that tight it will undo and you won't catch all of that nub okay
All right, there we go. Good morning, good morning. Let's jump right back up here. Finish this side. Now, if anybody wants this one, you can shoot me a message. Um, it will be $70 with free shipping. I forgot to get it listed. You know when you've been gone for so long and you, you're just so overwhelmed with everything you still have to do? Yeah, that's the way I've been all morning. Running around like a chicken. This one will be 70 if you want it. Just shoot me a message. I'm not worried too much about these tails. We will get them fixed. So don't, don't fret about it. Going in and out. Mine will stop for a second and then come back on. Um, I'm, I, I've heard, I know I haven't been on Facebook much cause I've been gone all week. I've heard that Facebook is having a lot of issues. <laughs> so there's no telling. Come right down here. Gonna get our bottom done. Now you actually may, you can. So instead of, and this is why I say watch the whole video and then make your kit. So we're gonna take these two out and we're gonna go one right here in the middle, okay? because this is a big enough ruffle where you don't need both. I am good. Y'all, today's December 1st and I need to find Monk's Elf on the Shelf or I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> so that is priority as soon as I get done with this live. Okay, so see how just that one fills in that bottom nicely? So let's change this one. If you wanna keep doing both, you can totally up to you. It just depends on if you want to make one swag or two with this kit. Here. Right on top. 
Are y'all still doing the Elf on the Shelves? Or are your kids old enough to be done with it? Or did you buy my dragon that ate the elf? <laughs> so you no longer have to do it. <laughs> So my ribbon tails are cut at 14 inches. You could definitely get away with 12 inch. How did I do the white? Um, I've got one more piece, so hang with me. Um, and I will, actually I don't because I took those out. I will fold one for you um, so that you can see how I did that. Okay, so it, it's really just a ruffle. Here, let me do this one. Okay, so 25 inch, rough, 25 inch piece. Ruffle it right up the middle. Okay, so that's what you have. And then I'm just taking and I'm bringing all of that ruffle, kind of overlapping the mesh and bringing all of that ruffle to one side. Just like that. Okay. Now I did not word burn this mesh just so y'all could see that you do not have to wood burn if you don't want to. You will have to clean up the mesh, all the frays, but you do not have to wood burn if you don't want to, okay? You getting all the mesh into the zip tie? Um, well, you know, it can happen. If you saw the beginning, it happened with me too. You just gotta, I mean, it will be easier to do the ruffle first, zip tie it in, and then add your ribbon tails and zip tie those in separately. So let me show you that again, if y'all missed that. Okay, so we're gonna put our mesh in first. Okay, just like that. Just grab all this, it's gonna fluff back out. Don't worry about it. Zip tie that in. Okay, now take you another zip tie, go right back over that zip tie, and add your ribbon tails. Okay. Mine are 14 inch, but you can definitely get away with 12 inch. Okay, zip tie ribbon tails. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you wanna do it, the outcome is gonna be the same. Okay. Thanks for the gifts, TikTok. I appreciate it. All right. We're going to put our last one in. Now, I do have two extra pieces because we changed the top and the bottom. But I will not waste it. I assure you, we're going to put it right here in the middle. That's what we're going to do. We were gonna have to put ruffles in the middle anyway to fill that in, but we will use the extra pieces.
right in the zip tie. Ribbon tails right on top. I was going away from me it was super cold in Chicago I mean it's cold here in Tennessee too but it's that wind y'all the wind it just went right through you and if y'all here live in Chicago lordy be lordy be Okay, so that's what we have. Cute, cute so far. So we're going to take the extra pieces we have. And we're just going to nestle them right here in the middle. So we have, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten pieces cut at 25 inches okay we are making um the made with love kit so i'm gonna go right here to h these boards are labeled with the alphabet so we're gonna go to h and we're gonna take this big old ruffle Set it right in there. Okay. And then we're going to go to, we want one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to go to C the letter C and we're going to do the same thing. Put our big old ruffle. It's 57 in Texas. Wow. South Florida. I want to come to Florida. Do you have an extra room? <laughs> Is it warmer? <laughs> ruffle it right up the middle. Okay, just like that. Stick it right in that zip tie. Okay, so now our middle section is filled in and we have stuff for our um, cutting board and stuff to sit and nestle right in. Okay, so let's make a bow. Y'all will just have to excuse me today. I am all over the place. I do apologize, but look, we've all been there, right? Especially this time of year. Let's do, I'm trying to think what ribbon I want more of. What do y'all think? The one with the natural or just the red and white gingham? Which one do I want more of? What is that blue thing called? It is a zip tie gun, so it tightens your zip tie and cuts it all at the same time. Which one do y'all want more of? I'm thinking the natural. Oh, a lot of y'all are saying natural. Natural. 
I think more people are saying natural. Okay. Now, actually, I am going to remember we had the two extra pieces. I'm using them in my, my tails. Okay. So I'm just going to put one coming down that way. One coming down this way. Okay. Can't waste a good ribbon, right? So now we can just start on our loops. So we're doing three loops at six inches. Good morning, good morning. So this finished wreath is $70, and it will ship free. If you want it, shoot me a message. If you want this kit, it is available on my website, monkeyscreations.com. So we've got our three loops at six inches. Just going to cut that off. going to bring in our red and I'm going to use the extra tails we have. The kit is, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, 40. I think it's 40 and it comes with everything you need to make it. Okay, so we're going to add these so we don't waste them. Just like that. And then we're just going to do our loops. 45. Thank you, Brenda. I couldn't remember. I listed them a couple hours ago, so y'all know I forgot already. But if you just make the kit as is, you will definitely have supplies left over for another project. So we have our two at five inches. Oh, it's 40 for the cardinal. That's right. Okay. Because there's two kits listed. So I was 50% right. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the kit does come with two boards. All right. Back in with the natural. And we're doing one loop at four inches. So you still have some ribbon left on both of these. Okay. Hi, hi. All right. Let's grab our pipe cleaner. sure I have all those ribbon tails since they're really not connected to the loops. Ooh, got it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
I always fluff mine from the bottom up. How pretty that is. Now, sometimes the glitter ribbon can stick together right down here at the base. So just pull it at the base. Okay, so there's our cute little bow. So now you need to decide which is the top, which is the bottom. It does not matter, okay? Just decide. Just pick. Okay, so our bow is going to go right here. Our baked with love is going to go about right here. And then we're going to have our gingerbread coming out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on our bow. And I'm putting it right over that zip tie that we put in the middle. I will turn it over and show y'all. Why did an ad? I've always have had ads for a couple years now. Lives and replays. Okay, so I went right over that zip tie we already had on there. Yeah, I, I didn't even use a whole roll. A whole roll comes in your kit, and that's what I have left. trim down oh, right there in front of me just dovetailing our ends now remember some were ribbon tails so we don't need to do all of them I'll just come right to the base, work that wire, give that a little curl. It just looks finished to me, y'all. Y'all don't have to give it a little curl. I just like it because it looks like a finished product. But you can always just go like that. I'm just not one for leaving them flat out like that. But you can do whatever you would like. Thanks, Annette. Simple bows. That's what I use. This is the bow style I use probably, what, 99% of the time. So there's 
close your bow. Now we're going to take, put some pipe cleaners right through our cable mounts. Now I did just do this this morning, so I'm not going to pull tight, y'all. Y'all need to let them sit at least 24 hours to cure, okay? But for live purposes, <laughs> I'm going to do mine. I'm just not going to pull it tight. Okay? Now, the only thing I did do with this little bow, now you can always just pull that bow off, y'all, if you want to completely change the bow. Um, the only thing I did was these bow tails came way down to like there, and I didn't like them like that, so I did trim them back. That's the only thing I did, okay? Just trimmed it back so it wasn't so long. You want to see the back? It is a unique in the creek rectangle board. Very easy to use. And this is the, you get two boards come with your kit, y'all. Because they come in a, in a pack of two. All right, so now we're going to nestle this guy right kind of into the bow at an angle. Okay, so let me find two holes. I'm not pulling tight because I still need to find the holes where this one goes into and I will turn it over and show you exactly where I'm putting them okay so I went over that zip tie on one side and then down one to the next okay so it's diag And then once I know that's where I want them, then I'll snug it in a little bit more. Try and pull that ruffle out. Hold on. There we go. But this is why I don't worry so much with the tails until I'm done. Because look, I'm just going to mess them up anyway. Let's be honest. Okay. And then you get this cute gingerbread pick and we are going to break it apart. Okay, you can see they're kind of in two anyway. Just pull it apart, break that paper. Okay, now this paper does, paper, this paper does unravel, y'all. I just, I like to pull the rest of the paper off that I can get, and then I zip tie it back together so it doesn't, it's still like one piece. Okay, 
and then you can kind of move them around however you want to do it. Okay. Same thing. Now this one's a little bit longer. Um, what I'm going to do, well, actually, I might just pull this one off for now. Cut it down. Just take a lot of that paper off. Zip tie it together. It's just extra security for me, y'all. That's all that is. Okay, and then you can actually we probably should have done this one first. I'm thinking, let me see. You can use one, you can use both, whichever you want. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm thinking just one, y'all. And then what I'll do is, hold on, let me see how far that fits down in there. I'm going to undo this, or you can just glue it in, y'all. You don't have to zip tie it in. You can just put you some glue on there, call it a day. So this one right here at the top, I'm just gonna put another zip tie right over the zip tie that's already there. I know y'all can't see me. I'm just putting that zip tie in and, and clicking it closed. And then I'm just going to slide this part right in that zip tie. Until it about hits that gingerbread to the cutting board. Okay, and then I'm just going to zip it in. Okay, now we can put our cutting board back on. Just like that. If you don't want those wispies and you just want the gingerbread, then take the wispies off, y'all. Just pull this piece right off. Totally up to you, okay? Now, do I want this other one? Let me see, let me see. What do y'all think? Do we want one or both? I'm thinking just one, y'all. What are y'all thinking? I'm thinking just one is all we need. So you can use this on your other rectangle board if you want. All right, let's fix our ribbon tails.
You could also, let me show you what y'all could also do. Take that gingerbread off and glue him in your bow. That would be really cute as well. You like the second one in the bow? I think I do too, y'all. Yeah. Let me see if I can turn my glue gun on real quick and let's see how long it takes to heat up. So if you didn't like the wispies, so an easy way, just cut it off, y'all. Just cut it off. Okay, and then just come to the back. This is what I do when I clean them up once they sell. Clean it up. Just cut them off, y'all. So you do not absolutely, for these styles, have to wood burn. Well, you never absolutely have to wood burn, but y'all know I will wood burn. And then I like these just kind of all different sizes. Different kinds of curls. Whatever you want, just have fun with it, y'all. Just have fun. Isn't that cute? So we can, I'll add this little gingerbread here. I'll just glue it right down into the bow. And then do we want this little candy? can add the candies if you want. Nah, I don't think I necessarily want that, but there you go. Look how cute that is. And easy. So we used 10 pieces of mesh. Let me bring everybody up. 10 pieces of mesh cut at 25 inches. Um, we used one, two, two, four, six, eight pieces of ribbon tails cut at 14 inches, um, made our bow, um, and then just added. And it's really, really simple. These, once I make sure I'm completely happy with it, I will cut them down wrap them around each other, tuck them back into those holes so there's nothing to scratch your door, anything like that. Um, but there you go. Adorable. All right, so the finished wreath is available for $70. If you want it, it will ship free. Um, you can shoot me a message, United States only. Um, but the kits are also available on my website, monkeyscreations.com. Um, that's all I have. I may, cause I, it's crunch time y'all. So I may come live with y'all all weekend and I usually don't go live on the weekends. Um, but I have a lot of little projects I need to finish up. Um, because this weekend I've got to finish decorating for Christmas. So that is a priority. Um, along with getting caught up on orders that will be first. Um, but I got to get it done y'all. So make sure your notifications are on. 
because I'm just going to be popping in all weekend. All right. Have an awesome day. Bye, y'all.